Now let's say that you have decided to build an app but you don't know how to code. Well that might seem like a roadblock, but it doesn't have to be. With drag and drop mobile app builders, you do not need to know how to code to build an app. Now, there are lots of drag and drop mobile app builders out there these days. To help you decide which one to use, here are our top six picks. Now obviously we have to include MobiLoud. Now MobiLoud is not actually a drag and drop app builder, but as you'll soon see with other options on this list, that's a good thing. There are a host of problems with relying on DIY drag and drop app builders at the end of the day. MobiLoud has none of these limitations since you can simply take your existing website and turn it into a fully functional mobile app. You do not need to write a single line of code either. After all, you have already created the online presence you want with your website, so why waste your time and effort trying to recreate it in a DIY app builder? With MobiLoud, you get to keep these same backends, workflows, and features, and we provide all the features users would expect from a mobile app, including native interface elements, an app icon on their home screen, and push notifications. Our pricing plans are simple and transparent, with options to suit businesses of all sizes and specialties. Whether you're just getting started or an established brand, we have a pricing model that works for you with no hidden fees. If you're worried about timelines, we can get your app built fast, as Route 21 found when they wanted an app launched in less than a week. Now, some of the pros of MobiLoud is there is no code needed from you, you get to keep all of your website custom features and design elements, the transparent pricing model, white labeling is included at every pricing tier, and there's no limitations on integrations. Now, some of the cons are you may not be able to harness some native device features, and you already have to have a website created. The second option is AppyPy. AppyPie is a well-known DIY drag and drop app builder. One of its main selling points is that you can use AppyPie to build a website and an app. So if you've yet to get started on your own online business, it could be a good option. And in addition, you can rely on templates to get your app started. If you don't know quite the shape and form you want for your app, these are handy. Plus you can use AI to develop certain portions of your app such as logos, images, and other assets. You can also create backend features as well which is another bonus for startups and new small businesses. Now, After you finish making your app, you can publish it, but this is not the same thing as getting it approved on the iOS and Android app stores. To do so, you need to follow another support guide that AppyPy sends you. The app you build will also not integrate well with your existing website and code either if you already have them. Now, AppyPy is good if you don't know what kind of app you want and you don't already have a website. It could work for building prototypes and test apps, but if you want more than a basic app with limited functionality, AppyPy might not be the best choice. Now, some of the pros of AppyPy is there's no coding needed from you, it's beginner friendly, and there are handy templates. Some of the cons are apps have limited functionality, there are a lot of extra fees in addition to the base cost, and it will not reuse your existing website and code. Now, the third option is Good Barber. Good Barber is another DIY app builder and it targets a wide range of businesses and audiences including e-commerce, fitness, restaurants, and more. And one of its main features is the ability to integrate additional options via add-on packs. Like many other DIY app builders on this list, you can opt to begin with a template or blank canvas. If you want to go on your own way, you can build a more customized app but there are limitations as with all DIY app builders. Good Barber also doesn't let you reuse your existing website and code. So if you've already taken the time to build a loyalty program or memberships on your website, they will be separate from the same features in your app. Now some of the pros is no coding is required from you, it's easy to use interface, and it gets an app built quickly. Some of the cons are it will not reuse your existing website and code, there are lots of hidden fees, and apps tend to be limited in terms of functionality. The fourth option is pullable apps. Shopify e-commerce store owners may want to consider pullable apps, but any other e-commerce platform user should look elsewhere. That's because pullable apps is Shopify only. There's a handful of cool features that you can take further and use AI to offer product recommendations to your existing customers based on their shipping habits. You can also integrate product search and filtering features. Your catalog will update accordingly on both your website and mobile app every time anyone makes a purchase as well. So far so good, but remember it is all Shopify only. If you use any other backend, you are out of luck. Furthermore, only Shopify features will be shared between your website and your app. Any other customizations that you've built for your website, such as theming, plugins, and custom code, 
won't be. Therefore, Plobal Apps is likely best if you rely heavily on Shopify but have not customized much else on your website. Otherwise, it may be too limiting and as noted, it is nothing available for other e-commerce backends. Now, some of the pros is no coding is required from you, there's a tight Shopify integration, and it has an easy to use interface. Some of the cons are it is Shopify only, you may not reuse all of your website's existing features and code, and its highest price, most feature rich tier takes a cut of your in-app sales. The fifth option is Buildfire. Buildfire is a template based option. You start off with a template and then rely on plugins to add features that you want to your app. Now one of the highlights of Buildfire is their claim that if you cannot find a plugin you need, you can build it yourself. But that is a double edged sword. After all, you opted for a drag and drop app builder in the first place to avoid situations like this. Why bother hiring someone to build you a plugin or build it yourself if it means you have to get boggled down in coding at the end of the day anyway. Now, Buildfire is probably best if you have a simple app idea and want to develop it quickly. Its best use case would be for a company without much happening on its website already. Otherwise, if you have more complex operations, it likely will fall short in some areas. Now, some of the pros is it's no coding needed from you, it's easy to use interface, and you can build your own plugins. And some of the cons is building your own plugins means having to do coding anyway, and it may not reuse all of your website's existing code and features. Now the sixth option we're gonna talk about is Thunkable. Many of the drag and drop app builders on this list do not develop native apps, but Thunkable can. Instead of limited templates, you have access to native features of iOS and Android. Now when you first pull up Thunkable, you start with an empty canvas. Then you can add the features you want with blocks, integrations, modules, and other elements. Now pricing is pretty transparent too. The basic plan is free, but it limits your number of downloads and storage capacity. From there, plans begin at $15 monthly, but App Store Publishing doesn't start, so if you want that, be prepared to pay more. However, a native app will not integrate very well with your website. Any custom features or code that you have already built to work with your website will be left out. Now some of the pros are it lets you build native apps, there's lots of freedom in design and functionality, and it has an easy to use interface. The cons are it likely will not reuse your website's features and code, and you'll have to do all the work. Building an app is a good idea, and drag and drop DIY app builders have their place in that journey, but they also have their limitations. So make sure you weigh your options and see which option is best for you. Now, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you got some value out of it. And as always, my name is Jamarco, and I will see you in the next video.